Athena itching. We got a poppy. We got our Alpoli package. You want to help? My assistant. Watch out! This is the new collection launching on April 27th at 10 a.m. PST. Wow, it is taped the heck up. Oh. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, we have an Alphalete try and review. We have an Alphalete launch, the Limitless Collection, launching this upcoming Saturday, April 27th at 12 p.m. CT. We have a lot to go over, y'all. I feel like it's been a bit since I've done one of these, so I'm like shaking off the dust. It's It really hasn't, but why does it feel like February was so long ago? I don't know, but I'm happy to say we have Amplify back and they went back to the OG Italian yarn manufacturer warehouse and the whole idea of this is bringing OG back and uh, I'm excited to go through everything. We have regular gravity, we have special edition, there's certain colors launching in special edition, certain colors launching in the regular, um, and then they're not launching in the other. So I just want to debrief for a second too, but I did want to go over my stats and sizing first, transition, and then I have try on clips. I used two cameras and I put it both on auto so I could show you guys the lighting in two, and this was filmed at the same time, mind you. I will also put all the color comparisons over on my Instagram and my little highlight feature. I feel like that's just a little bit easier versus me trying to hold my camera over top of all the colors and whatnot. So make sure to follow me over there at Brooklyn Hill Fit. I will also be doing a little IG story Q&A before launch, and then I always do a giveaway for anyone that uses code Brooklyn at checkout. That'll save you 10%. And I'm going to run a huge March into April giveaway. Before I dive in, let's go through stats and sizing. I am typically a size small and all alphalete. I did get extra smalls in two pieces specifically to try out, test out, and see. Let's go through everything launching. And you guys, again, will see them in my try on. Some of the colors, some of the pieces I did not get. So for example, I didn't get the special edition biker shorts. I just didn't feel like I was going to love it. Hint, hint. I just... The special edition is gonna be the split logo. So you're gonna have the gravity and then you're gonna have special edition. And gravity is just your normal amplify. Some of them have black logoing on it versus the white. And then the special edition is going to be that split logoing. And I feel like it's 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 either your cup of tea or it's not. But let's kind of dive into all of the pieces that you will see that are launching. So first up, we have the new Kaseo bra, which are these like zip tank bras. Um, I will go over, they used to have a zip tank actually, so I actually put that on and compared that, but this is gonna be your first new bra. You're gonna have this in the regular, and then you'll also have this in the special edition as well in various colorways. Like I said, different colors for each. You also have the Gemini bra in both special edition as well as the regular, and this is the bra that crisscrosses multiple different ways, but you'll have this as well in two styles. The leggings as well in the special edition and then the regular gravity. This is just gonna be the Amplify leggings, but with different logoing. The 4.5 shorts, again, special edition and regular. You'll have the bikers and special edition and regular. Here's another Gemini bra. This is just a regular. Then we have another new thing, which is the Haley long sleeve. This will also be in, can you guess it? Special edition and regular. Um, so this is gonna be that, and then in different colors as well. You'll have the crop tee, which I have on right now. And then you'll have the OT split tank. So that is all that is launching. Again, different colorways for the special edition and regular. There's a lot, there is a lot to go through. So I will show you guys everything that I got personally and the sizing and how it fits and how it looks and all that. And let's get into it. I am a pink highlighter and I surprisingly am here for it. Uh, it's giving Barbie, but like dark hair edition. We have, I would say this is the most anticipated color of this launch, which is this beautiful hot pink color, Glisse. I think that is how you say it and if it's not, way more embarrassing because I said it with a, with passion. This is in the bikers and then we have the Gemini bra. The bikers are back, hallelujah. And they fit like a freaking glove. I put these on and I was like, excuse me? Apparently these are coming back to OG material, everything. This is supposed to be everything OG. And when I put these on, I was shook. If you watch my reviews, I always have to one, roll the waistband. So that's one thing, which I don't have to do on these. And just the fit and feel of these just feels so nostalgic. They aren't too stretchy, you know, thin, too compressive around the waist. They just fit 
so, so well. You will have differences between different colors. Some are gonna be, the darker colors tend to be a little bit more compressive than the lighter colors, but this pink color fits literally like a glove. I love that the bikers are back too. These only come in this color in the bikers. So if you are not a fan of the bikers, what you could do is I would roll them under. But if you are a biker fan, you need to snag these bikers because the fit is incredible. So 10 out of 10 already with just the fit and feel of these Amplify, you're gonna have the Alphalete logoing, obviously the butt scrunch that Alphalete is known for, for the Amplifies, the leg glue contour, three tier, three tier waistband and compressive. I, well again, like I said there, it's not too compressive. It's like the perfect blend of, it doesn't pinch your waist or anything like that. I don't have to roll and I have a notoriously short torso. So I don't have to roll these, which is a plus. And the length of these, if you're doing the little fingertip rule, they go, right almost to fingertip. I am forever scarred by that. If you had that in middle school, comment that down below because I remember eighth grade, first day, I was in a full leg brace after having my first knee surgery and I got dress coded for shorts when they were probably like right here, which obviously doesn't meet complete fingertip, just like these biker shorts. <laughs> and um, yeah, they sent me home because of that. So uh, I still remember that. But anyways, fingertip rule, I digress. Shorts are small. Gemini bra, I got this one in an extra small. I did get some of them in small, some in extra small. I'm a 34B for reference. I can always probably go on the extra small size and size down because I don't have much cup. <laughs> um, so I got, and I actually shot in Titan before in the beginning of March, I would say, for the Alphalete campaign. So if maybe by the time this comes out, you'll see it. And they gave me size small in both. And I felt like the bra just wasn't super compressive on me. So I got this one in an extra small. And I will say, I love the extra small fit. You can adjust the strap. So I'll show you this in different colors, but I have this exactly how you'll get it out of the packaging. So straight, straight spaghetti strap. You can adjust this bra so many different ways, but one way is bandeau. So in Titan, the other day, and I'll insert a clip, I wore this as a bandeau. And even with the small, I had to adjust it a few times, but it was not bad. If you're going back to the Aura bandeau, I'm like, the Aura bandeau is so cute, but it is not practical whatsoever. This stays so much more. So I was thinking bandeau wise, sizing down would just be even better. And I like it. They have the little silicone, um, just like the Aura bra did, but it does not roll. So we have a difference there. They did a lot better of a job there, but with this bra, you have two points here, you have two points here, and then you also have points in the back. So you can really mix and match this bra so many different ways. So in terms of these bras and like the money for them, you can wear these so many different ways. It's like, I don't even know how many times you can put this into different things. Let's say a five in one bra. So this is just regular. Again, when I show the other colors, I'll do this differently, but I like this. It's super compressive on, and then you have this nice thick band here at the bottom, tiered band. It is so compressive. It like you up right here, but this is not moving on me. So I would say if you are, I, would not, I wouldn't say in between bra, but if you have a smaller cup size and you could size down, I would recommend sizing down. You can adjust the straps, which is a plus, um, but I feel like just with the band, if you are, especially if you're gonna wear this as a bandeau, I would personally size down or stay true to size. And the bikers, I'd say true to size. Maybe if you wanna size down and make it a little bit more compressive. Um, with the short shorts, I never say size down in those just because it just, they get too short on and they could roll up and whatnot. But with the bikers and the leggings, with the length, you can always kind of size down on those too. But I am obsessed with both of these. Like I'll just do a little 360. We're starting off the review super strong with this one. I have no notes on this. I just like it. Okay, and now I have Titan on in the 4.5 shorts and then the small um, Gemini bra without the straps on. And this is how I wore it for the gym, freshly out of the dryer. And I'll say it's a little bit easier to put the small on around my lats, but it is just like a little bit bigger where it's not as compressive. So I can feel the difference tremendously. I think with the no straps though, I would prefer 100% doing the extra small. So if you're like, I'm going to 
wear it bandeau style and you're a smaller cup size like myself, I would size down personally. With these shorts, I did notice a little bit of rolling, but these just fit so good on. Again, they're not too compressive. I don't even have to roll the waistband, which I love. I'm just like, they just fit so, so nicely. So same thing with the bikers. These are just gonna be your smaller inseam. So the 45, another 45, the 4.5 um, inseam on this, but you're gonna have the same butt scrunch. With this color, you do have the black Alphaly, which I'm indifferent about. I just don't understand why they did black and then tonal up here. I kind of wish it was the same, but this would pair really nicely with a black top or a black bra even. But here's the back. And this is just like a beautiful blue aquamarine, I would say, kind of color. Super pretty. You guys know I love the blues. And then I also got this in the little tank top right. too. But I love this. So this is the second bra coming out, bra tank top. So if you have been around Alpha Lee, I'll like throw some clips up. But they actually came out with these like half zip tanks and I am obsessed with them. And I have been dying for them to come back. Every time I wear them at the gym, I get so many compliments, like, where did you get that? If I post them in workout videos, I always get asked, like, where can I get these? Are they still out? And it was a while ago. I think it was like two years ago when they came out with these and they were just tanks. So you had to wear a bra under these. They took that, added a bra, beautiful. Beautiful. So I have this in Titan in a size small. It does have removable cup paddings in here, so you feel supported. And it has that nice thick waistband, just like the Gemini bra. Unzip fully and then all the way up. I have seen some people saying they size down in this, and I like my true to size. I feel like if this was sized down, with the nature of it being a tank top bra, it would be a little bit too tight and ride up. And I love how this hits as a whole. Like this just looks so sleek so clean and especially if you don't want to show a lot of your midriff like this is perfect it's nice razor back i i got this in the most amount of colors because i was very hopeful i was loving it they took everything from that last one and just made it better because now you don't have to wear a bra underneath it is super supportive removable cup padding if you want to take it out but you definitely don't need a bra on this unless you're running and bigger chested i would say like definitely maybe put a bra under but for just like gym wear this is totally fine to wear. Get the nice ribbed detailing here, and the matching sets are just phenomenal. Then you just have the little tonal logo, and you really can't even, at first I didn't even notice it, but it's right back here, and I love the tonal. I'm like, let's keep the tonal vibe going, because it's so minimal. We have the special edition of the Amplify shorts, the Gravity shorts, as well as the Caseo, I think that's how you say it, Caseo bra. So I have both small and small, and this special edition is going to be the split logoing of Alphaly, split logoing, which I am not 100% sold on, to be quite honest with you, the least noticeable one of it, just because it is a darker color. It is gonna be the same details of this. I will say when I put this on though, the fit doesn't fit the same as the regular, and I like the regular more. It's like the shorts almost feel like they ride up a little bit more, and this bra on the sides just has some like weird extra fabric here where it didn't have that on the normal Caseo bras. So I prefer the other one better. This is gonna be the darkest color besides black that is launching. So here's Nocturnal. Back with special edition, I have the color Aquarion. Uh, this is a very pretty lilac purple. Again, we have the split logo in here and I am just, I'm just not sold on it. I uh, I love this color. I love the light purples and I wish it came plain, but this is gonna have the black logoing and it's gonna be way more noticeable with the split. I'm just not sold on it. I don't hate it. I just wish this color came in the regular. Fit and feel, again, small and small. Not too many other key details. I don't know. I don't know. I did get this as well in the long sleeve that also has the thing here, small on on the top and then the same small shorts. And I think this is so cute. Um, a little bit like, I got a, a black, like a, just a plain black one. And this would be a top if this didn't have the alpha lead that I would wear 
out, out and about. So I'll show you guys the black one too, but just with the split logo and everything like that, I do like this pairing a lot, especially for like a cute little leg day outfit. This shows off the collarbone super well. I don't have a bra on underneath of this, and honestly, I feel pretty secure if I wanted to not wear one. I don't really need a ton of coverage on that, but I will show you guys in the black what that looks like with a bra underneath. A little bit of like small bunching here, but nothing crazy. Um, and then here is the back. Super comfy on, very stretchy, nice little band here. Not too compressive either. I will say when I lift my arms up, it does come up a little bit, which if you're not wearing a bra, could be troublesome, but it usually just hits right here and then it stops. I always find it being a little hit or miss for me for long sleeves specifically because I don't like having sleeves on. Like I just feel too hot and almost like stuffy and claustrophobic at the gym. I will say versus just their normal long sleeves, these do feel a little bit like you can, when I go like this, it comes up a little bit more than I would like it to, but overall, I do really like how this fits. I think with this top, you could size up just to get more coverage here um, and just not be as tight on the arm. So totally personal preference. I wouldn't mind doing a medium, but if I did a medium, I would 100% have to wear a bra under. I feel like with my normal size, it gives you, if you are in the itty bitty titty committee, you could probably just get away with not wearing one in your normal size, but... I like, this is definitely the favorite actually. Um, I crossed my, I changed my mind and I would say this is the favorite of the special edition split logoing because this just looks super cute and a really cute leg day outfit. So I'm excited to wear this. Okay, I have Nebula on with the special edition and I have a extra small bottom and a small top in a new little crisscrossy fashion. I will say I like the split more with the bra and the leggings versus the tank and the shorts. I do have the extra small, I size down in one, and I like small better. They feel a little bit more stiff on, and I feel like with this color specifically, this is the first one I need to roll slightly down, but if I roll it down, you actually can't see the logo. Um, so there we go on that, but um, the bra, I do, I like it better. I think this pairing looks a little bit better, in my opinion, my style, and again, if I wanted to, I could just, roll this, but I love this color. This is such a pretty like raspberry type, almost a little bit raspberry, but more purple raspberry color. Um, but this is how it looks with the leggings. And again, I size down one, you can size down. I just like mine to fit a little bit more loose and stretchy. So personally, I would stick true to size with these. I have this crisscrossed just in the front. So I take the front straps and I just put them right in the middle. You can do the same thing but in the back as well. So you really can mix and match this so many different ways and it's so, so cute. So here is Miss Nebula. She is cute. I actually got this color because I saw Heidi wearing it and I was like, oh, but I think with this, with the split and wearing a black top would be absolutely adorable. You can truly never go wrong with an all black outfit. And I'm happy that Alphalete is bringing black into the mix of all the new colors and continues bringing it back because how cute is this? I definitely like it more just normal, <laughs> um, especially putting back on the regular Amplify shorts, the gravity shorts. I just feel like they fit better. The other ones are a little stiffer, just personal preference. I do like the regulars for aesthetic and then just the feel too. But this is the black top with a Gemini bra underneath, just regular style, and that's an extra small. It does add a little bit of length to it. So here's the Gemini bra, and then here's where the top sits. I love this. It does go a little bit long on the hand. So if I pull this, if I pull this, I need to remember my mic because I don't have it on, but if I pull it all the way down, it covers here. But I like having my hands a little bit covered. I don't know. I love the thumb hole kind of thing. So personally, I do like the extra fabric on the bottom. I would wear this top out. Like this is a cute, just like regular top. It's so minimal, very 
minimal logoing with just the tonal and very cute, versatile, and most importantly, very comfortable. So I'm a big fan of this. I threw on the crop tee. This is in the color Heather Gray and it will be coming in a few colors as well. I didn't think about this, but in the gym, I sweat like a pig and the Heather Gray might not be the best choice, but it is a really cute, it's such a lightweight top. Oh my goodness, it feels like nothing. And it is very cropped. It's kind of bringing me back to the OG uh, alpha days, uh, at least like the last two years, because I feel like everything has been so oversized and this feels like a uh, an old item that we would have, but it's super cropped. I mean, here's the Gemini bra and it literally hits there. So it is extra cropped. I did a size small in this and you will just have, you just get this tiny little Alpha Elite logo in here on the side and then on the back, you have kind of like a washed graphic almost. It's not my favorite. I like oversized a little bit more, but uh, it definitely, like I said, it kind of brings me back to like old styles that uh, amplify or not amplify. I keep calling Alphalete amplify. Is that where we're going? But I honestly might size up one in this. I feel like it's, again, like this was like the old style where I would wear like tight crop tops and stuff that are like a little bit oversized, but I don't know if I'm just so used to graphic tees in a size large. I would probably pair it with like black shorts or just a pair of Amplify shorts and wear this for legs and maybe throw like on a ball cap or something, but cute. Super cropped, if that's your style, super, super cropped. I got one more shirt, guys, to show you, and then we're done with this haul. Okay, and last up, we have the slit tank on in the color white. This will also come in a few colors as well, and this is also a piece that they've kind of come out with before. So this is gonna be the same as that crop, super lightweight in terms of the sheerness. It's not too bad. I like a little tank top, but it is shorter, so it's gonna hit right at actually a little bit longer than those crop tees, but it is gonna hit right basically at the pant line of these amplifies. They're just gonna be your like everyday basics. Like obviously you can throw these on for gym wear too, but in terms of just like the lifestyle aspect, you could just wear this and it's a super cute little tank top too, a nice little slit here, minimal logoing, just like uh, those crop tees and then nothing on the back, it's just plain Jane. Other ones are a little bit thicker. These are gonna be super lightweight material and I'll put the blend too on the screen, but I would say with the slit um, tanks and then the crops and I did a size small and I would stick to my normal size with this one, I think it fits. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, that concludes the try on portion of the video. I hope this helped. As always, let me know if you have any questions on your personal sizing, what I would recommend, like sizing wise, if you're in between, I'm happy to help. So drop any comments down below. Uh, just some final wrap up thoughts with everything. I like the regular Amplify Gravity over the special edition. I feel like it's gonna be more of a hit, but again, it will go off of what you prefer in terms of the aesthetic, but I do like the fit a little bit more of the Gravity versus the special edition. I felt like it was just a little bit different, a little bit. Uh, and that's me trying on these pieces over and over and over again and being picky, but I would say stay true to size in all of the items besides you could size down in the gravity bra if you are a smaller cup size. I really like the bra and I love that it's versatile and that you can wear it so many different ways. The bikers are chef's kiss. I would say if you are a biker fan, definitely snag those. All in all, a more positive launch of things and I'm excited to see what your guys' review of it. What is your favorite thing that I tried on? What are you most excited about? And again, drop any comments down below. As always, you can shop launch and use code Brooklyn and it'll save you 10%. I love you guys so much. I'm doing a huge giveaway for anyone that shops my code too. So make sure to submit your orders and also so I can say a huge, huge thank you. I have been doing these reviews now for over four years with Alphalete. <laughs> and been on the team and that is so crazy to me. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I can't even say it enough, but thank you guys for watching, supporting, caring the littlest bit. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Have an awesome day and go crush it.